good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know what time you're watching this, but yep, Lake Murray with Mike and Tony. Meeting them guys out here. It's been about two years since I fished here. Two years or a year. We're gonna try to get some uh, largemouth bass for you guys. They're already out here on the boat. Uh, meeting them up at the dock right here. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna hop on this boat real quick and slap you guys on my chest and get this day started. Did we miss the bite? Ah, uh, don't make me feel bad. It's overcorrected. Don't <laughs> <to> over. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get comfortable. Catch anything yet? All right, on the boat, Lake Murray, 6.30 a.m. I'm late, as usual. These guys are pretty mad at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> they missed the bite, all my fault, but it's okay, I'm here now. Yep, it's, it is fall. The uh, end, what, two days left of September, and we're gonna try to catch some bass. Did you fish yesterday, Mike? Yeah. How'd that go? I caught one and then I left. <laughs> and it was like six pounds. Yeah. Lucky. I'm, like on, on the top? On the top? Uh, on a worm? <laughs> Sick. Alright, well I'm gonna get rigged up and we're gonna do some fishing. Well, the rattle trap? No. Worm? No. Benny! Yes. Give myself a pound of. No! Thank you. He dug right into the reed, right in the middle. You know what? I should do that to a bass, not a damn tule. No power? Because it was off. They're throwing really lightweight. Yeah, flip shot. On, on a hook. <laughs> on a hook. Like old school technique right there. Before jig heads, huh? <laughs> Beach in the boat. there. I should get bit. I'm just let it sit. Oh! It was free spool too. I was letting him run. You're right when you said we're going to pick one off too at this corner. I, I ruined it for us. Yep. 
What the hell is that? What the hell? It's a big ass bluegill. Yeah, big one too. Big one, dude. Get away from the dilly. Are you getting manhandled by a fucking bluegill? Yeah. I'm not in the water like that. You're getting, you're getting raped by a bluegill right now. Lip that shit. Lip him. Lip him. This is the biggest bluegill of my life. <laughs> Holy shit. Here you go. Big old gill. <laughs> bluegill is big before. It's a big one. This is probably what took it earlier and ran because it did the same thing. Oh, that's a tournament winner right there, guys. <laughs> Unless it had my pond, I thought I'd sucker in my pond, hang out my coys. Great. Oh, I did have a blue get my pond. My mom comes over and sees it. It's gone. It's gone. So far, one bluegill. My PB bluegill. Damn, I'm breaking PBs this year, guys. Hey. What's next? PB shed? <laughs> PB shed. <laughs> but it's pretty good. It's nice to be out, Lake Murray, uh, here with Mike and Tony. So far, it's, it's been a rough, a, pruff, a rough grind for all of us. We're trying to find them. We're flipping toolies, fishing everywhere, throwing it at rocks. So far, nothing. Marking them but not getting them. There's a lot of people out here, some people on kayaks, about 10 boats. But it's nice to be out. So back on the chest you guys go. That's your least least way of wanting to uh, catch fish is the worm. Yeah, that's like when nothing else pro <laughs> produces, throw the worm. Yeah. Yeah, true. Exactly. Instead of a subtle bite, you want like a plow. Hammer it. Smoke it. Plow. A plow. A plow bite. Yep. Get molly whomped. Get beat up, right? Your bait comes up with a black eye. Yeah. <laughs> the sink with a black eye. Like that bluegill did to you. <laughs> hey, you're gonna keep that with me. You're gonna hang that over my head for a long time. I'm getting worked by. You got worked by a bluegill. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Oh well, at least we have, we'll have something to talk about next time we're out here. Remember that one time? <laughs> what are you talking about? So, this is what I'm running. Six pound test, wacky rig thin Senko, 16 ounce peg. So I caught one big slab. Mike destroyed the dinks. We're out here at Lake Murray, tough lake. Like they say, it's timing, right? It's all about timing. We've been out here, what, four, four hours? About four, four and a half hours, maybe five. Just one for me, but it's cool, it's part of it. Like, can't come out here expecting to catch fish all the time. I can't believe that. I know, dude. I think the first one I lost was a bluegill too, because the way, it, it did take off like a bass. I'm pretty sure if it was a bass, I would've hooked them. Yeah. Yeah. Because I came back, it was still weedless. Presentation was still there. So we're about to, we're waiting for Tony right now to come with his truck. We're gonna load up the boat. 
and say our farewells. So I'll catch you guys at the boat ramp. This is my only catch of the day right here. Slab of a bluegill. Look at that. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Slab. Go, it's a good one. All right, here we go. Slab. Bluegill Bluegill? Bluegill, okay, that's about uh, three pounds. Here. No, that's a good pound and a half too. <laughs> Alright, 2.85. You think so? Yeah, I'm here. I can weigh them. Where'd you get that from? Across the lake. Where's the scale? Three pounds. Two and a half, three? Alright, these guys say two and a half, three. Let's find out. I know, it's, it's stuck at two pounds. What do you got? <laughs> nice big crappie. Bluegill. That's a blue, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big freaking. I'm trying to get a catch him on. A Cinco. Cinco, wow. Yeah. Where'd you get him? Uh, way across the way on the boat. That's a beauty. Here, wait a minute. Is that what you had him at two, two pounds? No, that's what it turned on to be. I got a scale in my car. Okay, good luck, man. That's a beauty. <laughs> got some meat right there. Oh yeah, that scale didn't work. Oh, man. It broke. It broke the scale. That's how big it was. <laughs> Cinco. A Cinco. Yeah. All right, guys. She was two pounds on my scale. Two pounds on a dot, mind you. Yeah. Two pounds. Here you go. Two pound slab. Well, he's bleeding. We're gonna take him home. I'm gonna fry him up. Red ear? Red ear, bluegill. Here we go. Sunfish? Red ear, sunfish. Whatever the hell it is. I don't care. But I caught it big. It's big. It's two pounds, dude. It's pretty big. There you go. There you go. Two pounds. All right. All right, I'm leaving the lake now. PB, I guess, uh, red ear, sunfish. Bluegill, I don't know. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, comment below. But I'm gonna roll up this window with the AC. That's the sound of heaven right there. Nice cold air. But yeah, we're calling it a day. It was it was it was a rough grind. Total six fish caught, Tony skunked out, but you know, we're just trying to figure them out. We tried all types of different you know, different ways of fishing, different techniques, etc. And we, we failed them all. We had a couple bites, a couple missed bites. We saw a bunch of shep popping off everywhere. But it's Lake Murray. It's also a tough lake, like any other lake here in San Diego. And then again, it's fishing. But I want to say thank you, Tony and Mike, for giving me the invite out here to Lake Murray. Really close to home. So it, it made a lot of sense to come out for a good session and go back home. If it was somewhere else, like, you know, San V, I would have left a lot earlier to get back home to my kids. But two pound sunfish, red ear sunfish. All right, let me break it down to you guys what I got him on. I got him on a four inch thin Senko, green pumpkin purple, wacky rig, 116 ounce bullet weight. I lost one right before I caught that guy. So I'm assuming it's another decent bluegill too because the way it took off, it, it didn't take off like a bass. It took off more like, um, like a hit and run like kind of thing. It felt like a spotty or you know a macro if it was on free spool. But maybe it could have been a bass. I would never know. Didn't catch the guy. Didn't even hook up on him. But I'm going to end it right here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my past videos. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. And thank you all for watching. And as always, good fishing. Peace out. Ooh.